Okay, welcome back. Now that we've took the time to let our paper dry, and it depends how much water you put on it, how long it takes to dry. So just touch it and make sure it feels dry. And then we're gonna glue on our plant life because all fish need plant life to survive in the water. So we're gonna take our glue stick and we're just gonna kind of run the glue where we want our plants to go. And that's totally up to you. I think I've torn off three plants, long ones, so I'm gonna put one there. One here. And I think I'll cut this one shorter and put one there. Just like that, no rhyme or reason to it, just any way you wanna put it on there. And it's okay if it goes over the fish a little bit because they do like to camouflage themselves sometimes. And then we have smaller pieces of paper that represent different size and different kinds of plants. And those can also just be put on with a glue stick. You just put like a circle of glue and then just stick a few on where you want them to go. Just hold them down, maybe count to three. One, two, three. So I'm just gonna glue some of these on. Push them together and count to three. You'll put some up here. And just have fun with this. Maybe look at pictures of under the sea. See what kind of shapes you want to make with your plants. Okay, and you can put the extra to the side. All right, I think I like mine like that. And then don't forget to put the top on your glue stick. And now I'm gonna close up my watercolors because I'm done with them for now. And your kit came with these fun square shapes, all different colors. And these are called tiles, they're squares, and we're gonna make what's called a mosaic fish, which means the pattern of the shape will be filled with little squares. That's what a mosaic is. And you can do mosaics in different shapes, but today we're going to use squares. So wherever you want to put these squares inside the fish is how you make your mosaic. So I think I'll do, I think I'll start with the tail. Now these have sticky on the back, so you shouldn't need to add any glue. Just peels off and sticks. And I think I'm going to make a pink tail. So I'll start with that. And you just kind of put the squares in side by side. They don't have to fit perfectly in the pattern. Something like that. See that? Just see, it's not perfect, but I'm, you get the idea. I'm filling in the shape with the squares and it starts to look like a really cool design. So I think now I will do the body of the fish and maybe I'll do that with some, I may do that in more than one color. Maybe I'll start with some yellow. And you gotta make sure you get the little white squares off the back so that it sticks. Little fingers will be good at this. My hands are a little big, so a little hard for me to get the sticky back off. <clears throat> but with your little fingers, it should be very easy. Okay, and I'm moving along here. See, I've added, started to add my yellow squares. And you're gonna go in and fill the whole body and head and the gills and the whole fish in with different color squares. And then you'll have a beautiful fish mosaic. 
And I would love to see yours when they're done if you want to post them at Front Porch Art Kits on Instagram or Facebook. Or you can even send us, them to us through our email. Okay, great. Thanks for joining us today, guys. And I hope you enjoy this fish project. Hello, my Front Porch Art friends, and welcome to our lesson on the colorful fish mosaic that came in your August Let's Go Fishing or Funny Fish art box. Um, so pull out all your materials that came in your packet. And if you're a subscriber, get your watercolors from the first month. And if this is the first month you've gotten a box from us, then the watercolors will be right in your box for you. And let's pull out the instructions. And you can follow along with me or you can read along on the instructions as well. And the first thing it says is to paint your paper with a little bit of water. Okay, so I've got my fish and this is printed on watercolor paper so it can get wet. Now remember though we never want to soak a piece of paper and put too much water on it because then it has trouble drying and might crinkle up a little bit. So we're just going to be a little bit of water. So get your a little bit of water, grab your paintbrush from your watercolor kit and dip your brush and just gently kind of wet the paper. Now you can go over the fish if you want but we're not going to paint that. You can paint the fish um, that's up to you. I'm not going to paint it right now. I'm just going to use the tiles, but you can also paint the fish and then come back and tile over that. So I'm just going to fill in with a little bit of water. Just kind of brushing the paper, painting the paper with some water. Now what this does is it makes the color spread easily when you put it on the paper. Kind of go around, spread. Okay, now I'm going to start with my blue because this is going to be the blue water that the fish is swimming in. Go ahead and add your blue. See how nicely it just kind of swirls around because the paper's already wet. You can add a lot of blue. You add a lot, you get a little bit of a darker blue. But just have some fun, just kind of filling that whole bottom paper with the blue. Now, when you look at the water, it's not just a solid blue color, it has many colors in it. So I think if we add a little bit of green on top, you get kind of a nice mixture of aqua and other colors that might be in the water. There we go. Now a tip I have at the bottom is it says, place a piece of plastic wrap on top of the wet paper, press down and peel to make a cool effect. So if you wanna pause here for a moment and get a piece of saran wrap from your mom or dad, and then come back and we're going to take it and we're going to put it just on top of the water and then just pull it up. going to do that all around. And it gives just a cool textured effect to your water. Okay, I think I like the way that looks, so I'm going to put my paper aside. Remember, I always work with a paper towel or napkin so I can dry my hands off and my brush if I want to. And the next thing is, Okay, once paper is dry, glue on the green tissue and crinkle paper to create sea plants. So we're going to pause for a moment and wait for our paper to dry, and that should just take a few minutes. 